Good afternoon. This is Chaplain Matthew Hodges. I hope you are doing well. Over the last few weeks, I've shared uh, briefly about emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is the ability to uh, understand and to perceive our own emotions and to uh, interact with other people and understanding their emotions. I've been using a book entitled Emotional Intelligence 2.0. And I'll put the, uh, a link to the book uh, in the description. And if you get an opportunity, take a, uh, take a look at that book, Emotional Intelligence 2.0. You know, for the last uh, two videos, I've talked about uh, personal competence. Uh, talking about personal competence in terms of just being aware of your own emotions. And then also the ability to manage uh, your emotions so that your emotions aren't you know, controlling you. And I use the example of uh, the hawk and the hawk um, before he was able to control uh, himself. And sometimes all of us allow our emotions to kind of uh, get out of control. We allow our emotions to control us. And we say things and do things uh, that aren't helpful. And sometimes we have to go back and apologize for those things. Then there's other times in which we've recognized our own emotions in a situation or we're talking with a coworker or a family member and we're able to control ourselves and to speak in a way that will benefit uh, the conversation for uh, the long term, uh, long term. Well, today I want to talk uh, about another uh, component of emotional intelligence. And that is the fact that we have to engage in society. We gotta engage with people, we have to engage with family and friends. We have to engage with people when uh, we go uh, to uh, the grocery store, we have to go get gas, something like that. We engage with different people, especially we engage with people at work uh, in, different, in different ways. You know, we have to engage with other people, whether that's engaging with coworkers or in management, or we're engaging in terms of customer service, serving a customer, no matter what it is, we have to engage uh, with people. And so in the book, they, they talk about the fact of growing in our own um, personal awareness and also uh, personal management. Um, but when we move from personal awareness and personal management, we then move to social awareness. And that's what I wanna talk about today, real brief social awareness. And so in their book, um, um, the authors say this about social awareness. They say, it's your ability to accurately pick up on your emotions. I'm sorry, pick up on emotions in other people and understand what is really going on with them. Let me say that again. Social awareness is your ability to accurately pick up on emotions in other people and understand what is really going on with them. Uh, and so to, uh, so when you move into being socially aware, you're moving into how can, you're moving into understanding other people, not just understanding yourself. That was personal awareness, personal confidence. Now it's social awareness, understanding other people. This is not an easy thing to do uh, at all. Um, and one of the ways, actually there's two ways, they say there's two skills that are needed to grow in social awareness. The first is listening, the second is observing listening so there's the ears observing there's the eyes and I say and so in, um, in in social awareness one of the things we have to do uh, to grow is to grow in being able to listen uh, to people are you a good listener are you just a talker you want to become a good listener and so a few ways they talk about uh, growing and listening is hey one of the things you got to do is stop talking Stop talking. Another thing you gotta do is stop thinking ahead of what you want to say. Because when you're doing that, you're actually not listening to what the other person is saying. And another thing they say is stop anticipating the point the other will make. Listening is a skill, it's an art. Uh, listening takes humility to hear what the other person is saying. And sometimes get beyond the words to what are the, the feelings, the emotions, what's at the core of, of what someone is saying. And this will be very helpful in your life and this would be very helpful in relationships but very helpful especially at work is being able to listen to people then they all say observe uh, and that is w learning to watch people to get a sense of what they are feeling and thinking okay 
So there's the ears and the eyes. And so so those are the two two ways that they give. I'm pretty sure there's more, but those are just the two ways that you can grow and I can grow in being socially aware. Um, socially aware of situations, okay? We want to grow in listening and also um, observing. And this will be very helpful uh, because it will help us in conversation. It will help us in terms of talking to people. Uh, it will help us to be able to listen to what they're actually saying and not respond based on what we think they were saying. Okay? So this is a skill. It doesn't come overnight. And I think this will be helpful as you engage at work, as you engage with people. Okay? So let me ask you, how are you doing? You know, when I ask that question, I'm also getting at how are you doing in terms of interacting with people? Now, I'll ask it in different ways. But how are you doing? How are you doing interacting with other people? How are you doing listening? And how are you doing observing? Maybe think about some of the conversations you've had this week or you've had today and think through them saying, was I a good listener? Or was I just talking all the time? Did I observe the person, their feelings, how they were communicating? And hopefully you can grow on that. I'm excited to be your chaplain. And I hope these videos are, are helping you uh, just, just to grow. Helping you to grow as, as, as an employee, to grow as an employer. Once again, any way that I can serve you, please let me know. I'm here to serve you. You have my email address. You have my contact information. Have a great week. I look forward to talking to you next week.